We're here on an early Valentine's morning to show the cruelty that happens um, in the dairy industry, which of course on Valentine's Day, so many dairy products are sold and given as, as tokens of love and compassion and caring for our loved ones. And in reality, those products stem from the ultimate betrayal, abuse, neglect, torture, and eventually murder of innocent animals. The truth of the matter is the dairy industry is much more violent in the long run for the longer period of time in a, in a cow's life than the meat industry. Um, so what happens is they of course have to forcibly impregnate a, a female cow for her to create milk in the first place. It doesn't just happen every month or something like that. You have to have a, a baby that takes the cow nine months to carry, just like a human. After that calf is born, they immediately separate it from its mother. Um, of course, they don't want the babies to be drinking the milk meant for us. So those cows are put into separate holding pens, usually very small crates or cages where they're held, never knowing their mothers, never feeling their love. Dairy cows have been known to literally holler and cry out in sorrow for days, if not weeks, after their babies are taken from them. If they're a male, be sold off to a facility to be killed for veal, or in some cases where they're mass producing huge dairy farms where they just don't have resources to take care of the, the male cows that are no good to the industry, they're just sometimes shot in the head and thrown into a pit. Um, depends on what part of the world you're in, what part of the country. Either way, the female baby dairy calves are then of course raised to have the same fate as their mother, which is when they're old enough, they're artificially impregnated. Nine months, they carry a baby, the baby's taken away. They are hooked to machines, they have to stand for hours and hours a day uh, on concrete floors most of the time. This process is done approximately seven times in a dairy cow's life before their body can no longer handle the stress of the pregnancy and or the standing and all of the uh, torture that they go through. So usually they're seven or eight years old and they become a spent or a downer, which is considered a cow that can no longer stand on its own and or the milk production reduces to where it's no longer profitable. At that point, they're hauled by any means possible, backhoe, dump truck, forklift, uh, into a truck and then sent off to a slaughterhouse to have the same fate as any other beef cow would. Again, it's a lifetime of torture, neglect, abuse, and loneliness that these animals have entire irony of the whole thing is our human bodies are not meant to drink another animal's milk in the first place like my sign here says um, you are not a baby cow and somewhere along the lines of history somebody decided to convince and brainwash the entire population that you had to drink another species mammary lactations in order to be healthy and we know now that that is just not true. The only milk we need in our entire life is our mother's milk from the time we're weaned off. And at that point forward, there's no nutrients or vitamins or anything beneficial in any milk of any kind that we can't get from other plant sources. So it's a giant ruse that they've pulled on us. And in the meantime, we get sick and billions and billions of animals get tortured. Their babies taken away their milk stolen, their lives stolen, just so we can have a, a glass of milk with our cookies. There are so many alternative milks now on the market that don't involve any animal cruelty. Almond milk, soy milk, hemp milk, cashew milk, oat milk. You can go on and on. There's so many different options and choices that don't require an animal to be abused. And that's why we're here today. That's why all these people spend their Valentine's morning sharing the, the, the truth with thrivers passing by and also bearing witness to what these animals are going through, which I'm gonna show you real quick here. This is their life of confinement until they're large enough to transport to either a meat facility if they're a male or to stay here and raise till they're old enough to sell to a dairy farm for the same fate as their mothers. You should watch a YouTube video called Dairy is Scary, and I'll put the link down below. Second thing you can do is share the information with other people you know and care about. They can be healthier and live a more compassionate life by not 
eating animal products, including cheese and milk and dairy. And third thing you can do is look up a local chapter near you of animal activists, whether it's the Animal Save Movement or PETA or Direct Action Everywhere. Uh, there's a bunch of them in all different places around the country and around the world where you can find out how to join and how to help spread the message to the general public once you've shared it with your your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day and I hope you watch the video I link below and make some changes in your life to live a more healthy, sustainable, and compassionate life.